Jackson. Uh, uh, kia ora, Madam Speaker. Uh, kia koutou, here taunga tamati. Uh, Ngāti kahungu nui tēnei tamihi, kia koutou. Uh, I whakaranga tire a mātou i tēnei wā. E hōna ne nui ki te tū. E mua ia koutou ki te tautoko tēnei kaupaka. Ngā mihi, ngā mihi kia koutou. Uh, Madam Speaker, I, I, I make a, a short contribution today because uh, some of the kōrero that's gone down from both sides has been uh, uh, exceptional. And, uh, and I value these types of uh, uh, um, kōrero, uh, Madam Speaker, because we have a house that's in unison and, and uh, acknowledging the injustices of the past. It's, it's great we have a parliament that has reached that stage, Madam Speaker. So I acknowledge the other side, the previous speaker, and in particular the previous minister, Chris Finlayson, who without doubt that has done a terrific job uh, in advancing uh, some of the treaty settlements over the over the last um, over the last few years, at the same time, I acknowledge the current minister, uh, the Honourable Andrew Little, who's got it all in front of him, all in front of him, and uh, uh, and it, he certainly uh, has a has a challenge. I also want to acknowledge members of Here <coughs> Taunga Tamatia who have passed on since the lodging of the claim, Madam Speaker. Many of the original claimants no longer with us. Too too many to name. But their commitment and contribution to where the settlement is today should be rightfully uh, acknowledged and honoured. <clears throat> and of course, acknowledge our, our rōpū who are here today, some of the negotiators who are here today. Ngā mihi kia koutou. Uh, I, think in, I think we have Elizabeth Munro. I'm not sure if Peter Paku is here, Brian Morris, Elizabeth Graham, Cordry Huata, the negotiators of a claim that I think has been uh, well thought through and, uh, and uh, well negotiated, Madam Speaker. I, I want to pick up on the point that, that our Green member made uh, earlier, Green MP made earlier, Jan Logie, in terms of, uh, in terms of the contribution that Māori make uh, to this country uh, and to this economy. And I think it, it, that, that is always underrated. Um, it's always underrated, Mr Speaker, when we go through a settlement process like this. In particular, the, um, when we look at the settlement package here, and, and we look at a total value uh, settlement of 105 million, and of course, that's very good settlement uh, when, in comparison to other settlements, Mr. Chair. However, if we really want to look at loss and sacrifice and what Māori have gone through, we need to take that into account. Because I'm sure, as our negotiators will know, and as, of, and as other people would know in the House, if we look back on past settlements in terms of Tainui, if we look back on past settlements in terms of Ngaitahu, those settlements, the loss, the economic loss value was valued by top economists, uh, Ngaitahu, $20 billion. $20 billion, Mr Speaker. And Ngaitahu settled for $180 million. So that's what you call sacrifice and contribution in terms of this country. That's what you call sacrifice, and that's what you call contribution in terms of this country. So I, I hope that, my hope is that uh, this group, people don't get uh, uh, all silly when they look at a group that's done maybe well in terms of other groups, but in, in the overall context of loss and sacrifice, uh, this country can't pay for the loss and sacrifice that our people have made. There's just no doubt about that. So I, I mihi to, to these negotiators for this, uh, for this settlement that is um, uh, a very good settlement. And I, and I note some of the excellent kōrero uh, from before, the settlement, total value settlement of $105 million, five million support to Te Aute College, a MOU with the Aurangi uh, Māori Trust Board, including an ex gratia pavement of one million and a right to purchase ten surplus crown uh, properties. These are these are the these are the types of um, settlements we need to uh, uh, see. And the key points, I, I just I, I know that uh, the Honourable Mika Faitari will will um, elaborate more, but it, I think it's good to to just break down a little bit more um, parts of the settlement with Hiri Tonga Tamatia. Uh, being one of six, I'm not sure if that's been mentioned yet, six large natural groups of Ngāti Kahunganu. 
<coughs> who have negotiated the settlement in terms of their historical treaty claims. Population of about 15,900, with land interests, uh, Mr Speaker, extending from South Napier to Takapo in the Hawke's Bay. So, you know, this is a, the history of, of Hire Taunga Tamatea has been, has been uh, mentioned this afternoon, and the, the 19th century in particular was marked by land alienation, warfare, and socio-economic deprivation, and the 20th century marked by so, social, cultural, and economic marginalisation. And as we heard today, the, the hapu themselves have said they have been the tangata, they have been the tangata without the whenua. And how, how many uh, iwi, how many hapu can, can say that type of thing? So uh, I just say well done. From, well done. And, and, and it's a, such a long process, this. Our people know when they, when they go into this process, the, the long, protracted process it can be. And it can go on and on and on. And in, in Hiretonga Tamatea's case from March 2005, they... Uh, where they negotiated their claim directly with the Crown. Their mandated entity, He Tō Taki, Taki Tini, which was recognised by the Crown in February 2011, with terms of negotiation signed on 19th of December 2011. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. So justice takes a while to come through. On 11th of June 2014, the Crown and Hire Taunga Tamatea signed an agreement in principle. The deed of settlement was signed on 26th of September 2015, and deeds to amend were signed on 16th of February and 13th of June 2007, providing for updated arrangements, uh, arrangements in relation to the Kaweke uh, Crown Forest license land. So, uh, Madam, uh, Mr. Speaker, I should say, apologies there, Mr. Speaker, um, I mihi to this Hiratonga uh, Tamatea uh, group for for, and we're only in the second reading, and we have another reading to go. But in my view. The more we talk about this uh, type of kaupapa, the better for our people, because this has been such a this is such a, a long process uh, that that our groups and our people deserve their stories to be told, Mr. Speaker, in the House, in the media, on the TV, and, and New Zealand needs to be reminded of the type of the type of contribution. Uh, that our that our tri that our iwi are making, that our people are making, and 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 the point is, Mr. Speaker, that they make it in an understated way. There's no uh, uh, there's, there's 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 no sort of putting anything in anyone's faces. And anybody who objects to it, you have to ask the question. Anyone who objects to this type of settlement, you have to ask why, why, why. Particularly when we get a, a house. Like this, where we're all in, there's, una there's a unanimous view that a huge injustice has taken place. And uh, for myself, it's always one of the uh, better times, one of the better times to talk in this house, rather than at other times where we might get a little bit excited and a bit carried away uh, in terms of uh, the different kaupapa that we, uh, that we uh, put out there. So these are the times, I think, to value and celebrate these are the times for the house to be proud, where we can mihi to each other, where we can acknowledge the, the contribution from both sides. Uh, and, and they are days, I think, that uh, where Parliament should be very proud. So well done to, to everyone today in terms of acknowledging this. There's still some uh, way to go. But again, to our, uh, to our uh, manuhiri who have come here today to, to honour this uh, settlement, I say ngā mihi kia koutou, rawe ki ta, ki ta tautoko ta kaupapa, ngā mihi kia koutou i, i kōkiri tēnei kaupapa i ngā wākato, tēnei te mihi kia koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā nō tātou katoa. Mana whakawā. Uh, ka karanga hau ki a uh, uh, hāre te hīpango. Tēnā koe hoki. Ki ngā hapū, me ngā uri o Hiratanga Tamatea,